In the bustling heart of a city park lived a wise old crow named Corvus. He wasn't like the other crows who squawked and snatched shiny trinkets. Corvus preferred the quiet corners, observing the park's creatures. One day, a frantic flurry of movement caught his eye. A tiny hummingbird, Pip, zipped between the rose bushes, her wings a blur of worry. Excuse me, young one, Corvus rasped, his voice surprisingly gentle for a crow. Pip whirred to a stop, hovering in front of him. What troubles you so? Pip, out of breath, explained she'd built her nest precariously on a rose branch. A strong wind the night before had dislodged it, sending her precious eggs tumbling down. Now, they lay scattered on the ground, vulnerable and cold. Corvus, touched by her plight, surveyed the scene. The eggs were too high for Pip to reach alone, and too fragile for him to grab with his coarse claws. But Corvus wasn't one to give up. He remembered the discarded basket a careless picnicker had left under a bench. It was flimsy, but with some work, with Pip guiding him, Corvus carefully maneuvered the basket beneath each egg. Using his beak and a surprising amount of finesse, he wove a soft, woven platform from nearby twigs. Pip, chirping with gratitude, retrieved each egg, placing them gently in the new nest. Together, they secured the basket back onto the rose branch, higher and sturdier than before. Exhausted but content, Pip settled onto the nest, her tiny body radiating warmth. Corvus perched nearby, a newfound respect for the little hummingbird blooming in his chest. The next few weeks were a flurry of activity. Corvus, the unlikely babysitter, would bring Pip plump spiders and juicy worms. He even chewed away a curious tabby cat, earning a grateful chirp from the fierce little mother. Finally, the day arrived. The eggs hatched, revealing three fluffy, squawking chicks. Pip, overwhelmed with joy, preened them fiercely. Corvus watched, a proud glint in his black eyes. He had learned that kindness, no matter how unexpected, could weave the most beautiful nests.